In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps associated with the various approaches to evaluate the assumption of homogeneity of regression slopes in the context of ANCOVA. So just to set the stage, we have sex as the independent variable, which is coded zeros and ones. We have body size factor, which is the covariate, and we have brain size in kilograms as the dependent variable. And the homogeneity of re regression slopes assumes that the association between the covariate body size factor and brain size is equal within sampling fluctuations. So the statistically rigorous approach to evaluating this assumption is to test an interaction hypothesis, which is with respect to the association between the covariate and the dependent variable interacting with the sex of the participant. Basically, the ANCOVA assumes that the association is equal across males and females. So going to analyze general linear model univariate and put brain size kilograms as the dependent variable and body size factor as the covariate and sex as the fixed factor. This is basically doing the same exact ANCOVA I did previously, but there's an important step here because I'm interested in the assumption of homogeneity of regression slopes. So click on model and I need to build some terms here. I need to include the main effects of sex and body size factor. And here's the important bit, I need to have the interaction. So click on interaction and then highlight both sex and body size factor and then click on this arrow and now I've got the three terms. And this will allow me to evaluate the body size factor by sex interaction. And if it's significant statistically, I have violated the assumption of homogeneity of regression slopes. Click continue and click OK. And here's the result and this is the key sex by body size factor f.986 and with 1 and 96 degrees of freedom it is not significant statistically 0.323. So this non-significant result implies that the slopes or the associations between the male and female groups with respect to the association between covariate and dependent variable are equal within sampling fluctuations. This is a good thing. It means that the assumption is satisfied. Had this p-value been less than 0.05, it would have raised problems, potentially. 